Hello, welcome to another Tiny Us update video. I'm Kiva. And I'm Jake. This is the uh, the never ending tiny house project. <laughs> but as you can see, we've made progress on the kitchen. So this is the main thing to, to show a little bit of ahead of the game. Obviously, as always, we've been filming more detailed stuff and we'll be editing those into proper building episodes and they're just gonna come when, they, when they're done. We actually have part of our countertop done as well, which we'll show you later. We had a really exciting spring where we actually won a YouTube contest called YouTube Next Up, and we got flown out to New York and got like five days of really intense training on cameras and lighting and microphones and everything. So that was really awesome. And we even got uh, credit to put towards new gear, which may or may not be uh, testing out right now. We also had a visit from Bryce from Living Big in a Tiny House, which was really awesome. All the way from New Zealand. He's currently touring around North America and was nearby, so he swung by. That was pretty cool. And Tiny House Expedition came for a visit, which was really fun, and they filmed some stuff for a really exciting upcoming project that they're working on. It'll be interesting to see how that turns out. We're not really used to being filmed by like another crew where you like literally we're looking at a tripod right now, so this is what we're used to. We seem to be always juggling kind of these side projects uh, and like offshoot videos along with the, the building series that we started with. And you probably noticed if you've been uh, following us that we did some tours and uh, we launched that Ciderbox 3D model product that we had a video for. Um, and then we got updates like this. But our next video, um, we have, well, we have some leftover footage from the Tiny House Summit that we're sort of. Um, putting into little standalone videos. So uh, people seem to really, well, you guys seem to really like that last one. I got a good uh, response from it. So we have more of that footage. So let us know in the comments if, you, uh, if you'd like to see some more of that next, or uh, if you want us to work on a building episode, which will be uh, probably about the nerd station, about like my whole computer setup. We're planning on starting with a layer of this half inch plywood for the countertop. And so as you can see, we've kind of pre-fit it and made sure it's all gonna work. This is all from one sheet, which is super nice because that dimension is slightly less than eight feet. And then what was you know cut out to form this L was enough with even more leftover to do the last bit here. So anyway, we're starting with that and then we're gonna be putting down um, some hardwood, some kind of wood. So we're actually looking for suggestions on what type of wood to use. Uh, we're thinking like uh, four by wide and about three quarters thick. It's basically like one by four type uh, material. And we're gonna lay them side by side and uh, both glue them. And uh, because this plywood won't be part of the finished product, we can drill through and put some screws in from underneath to suck the uh, wood down. And then the additional holding power of the glue will actually like make it a solid thing. So um, we're, we're planning on, the other thing I should mention is we're planning on building it all in place. Like we're gonna get the plywood affixed solid and kind of check it, make sure it's good. And then put these boards down uh, in place and then also finish it in place. And so the next step is also finishing. Not really familiar with that because we've never worked on like furniture or anything. So I don't really know the difference between, uh, I mean, I know you can sort of oil treat it or like there's different waxes and stuff, which we don't really want to do because that requires a lot more um, maintenance, but some kind of like lacquer or varnish or like resin that's suitable for like an eating surface, obviously. Um, we want to be able to just put like a thick coat of something down on top of whatever wood we end up going with to come up with like a finished, like possibly even glossy kind of just like sealed top surface. So if you know of anything like that or have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. And just to throw even more questions at you, we also plan on doing a tile backsplash. And as you can see, it's all wood that the tile would be going on. So. I'm just wondering if I need to put any sort of backing on the wood before I put the tile on. And also, 
Um, I'm wondering if there's any flexi grout because there's a chance the house will move a little bit after the tile is up. So if anyone has any experience with tiling or any tips, also please leave that in the comments below. And for the grout, we're even wondering, like, can you just use some kind of some product of caulking instead of grout? Or if that's like, there's a reason that that's no good uh, when working with tile. Thank you in advance for all of your suggestions. I could literally just take like a, let's see if it's still recording. Yeah, it says it is. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what we're doing here and turn on email notifications so you never miss a video. You can also find extra resources in the description below. We spend countless hours making these videos for YouTube. So if you appreciate our work, take three minutes to watch the video in the top left tile to learn some ways that you can support us for free. We'd really appreciate it.